been so long since I've done this. Hey guys, happy 2023. Sorry that I've been on and off on YouTube for a while. I've been really busy with college and acting and gymnastics, so much stuff. But for today's video, I'm gonna be using my computer and I'm going to be watching my gymnastics videos from the past weekend. It's our first competition of the season. So I'm gonna be like commentating my videos and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get into the video. So our meet was on Friday and it was at 6.30 at night. Can you guess what our first event was? It was beam. We got there and we were talking to our coach and we are like, oh, what's our first event? And he was like, beam, flight B. And if you don't do gymnastics, I'll explain to you what this is. So in gymnastics, there's flight A and flight B. So there's like two apparatuses at the meet, except for floor. Flight A always goes first and flight B always goes second. So if you're flight B on B, you get more time to warm up. So we're like, oh, we're flight B. Like, it's totally fine. Like, this is really good. And then our coach was like, oh, I'm sorry, guys. We're flight A. And we were like, okay. That's fine. We are going to be flight A and we're gonna do so good. Okay, so let's watch my beam. So out of my team, I was third. I don't watch people at competitions, so I always turn my back. So I had no idea. Well, I did have kind of an idea. I knew that they made it because I heard like cheering, but I didn't like know how their routine was, right? So I'm just going and I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna have a great routine. So we're gonna watch it. Okay, let me pause it right there. So that was my mount. I do a press handstand onto the beam. And at my in-house meet a few days before this meet, I did the worst mount of my life. I literally went to like 45 degrees on my handstand. I got like so many tents off. So after I did this mount and this routine, I was like, oh, I already know this is gonna be a good beam routine because I made my mount and it was really good. So I was feeling very confident at this point. Here comes series. Why am I like getting nervous? You got it. Such a relief when you land a series and meet guys. I swear, my cat's crying. The leap series. Okay, so coming up. Ace! Ace, I'm trying to film a video. I got my series done, I got my turn done, I got my leap. And I was like, I'm almost done. Like, I'm literally almost there. I just had the side aerial and my jump series and my disc. I had to like gather my mind because I was like, you have to land this aerial. And of course, when you're on beam, you get like all these negative thoughts. Like, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall. And you're like, no, I'm gonna stick it. I'm not listening to you, okay? I'm gonna stick this. So, all that was going through my head right now was, I'm gonna stick this. Yes. That beach I'm so satisfying. Okay, here's my dismount. I do cargo one and a half. Okay, so my score for beam was a 9.4. And I'm not gonna tell you my place. I'm not gonna tell you anything until the end of the video. So you better stay till the end so you know what place I got. So I was really happy with this routine and I was like, this is a great start to the first meet of the season and I'm really proud of myself. And instead of getting like too excited that I, did, I made my beam routine, I was like, I have to focus on floor. And I wanna say, our team made all of our beam routines and I was so proud. I was like, we just nailed it. Our coach was so happy. All of our coaches were happy, of course. And we were just so excited. And we were like, we made our beam routine. We made it. And if you know, if you when you make your beam routine at comp, it's literally the best feeling ever. Like, best feeling. Okay, let's go to floor. You got it, Sky. Come on, have fun. 
I'm like watching the judge's face. I'm like, this is so weird. I like fell on that in warm up, so I was like, thank God it's over. I was a little out of breath, but I was like, I got this, you know? It's Easy pass, but I was at, I was like, I got this. Yeah, I had little leg separation. I didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, I know I made eye contact with the judges when I did that. That's like. That was better. Why do I look yellow? Like I literally look yellow. I like the lighting. Oh, the last pass. Okay, I don't want to give it away, but. Mm. Ugh, no. <laughs> Howie was. So oh, my coach's name is Howie, and he was like, no, no, no. I was part of the routine. I was like, okay, I did good, but I really could have landed that last pass. I'm, usually, my double fools are good. Like, usually. I always make my double full and it's always like stuck. Like that's not a problem. Usually it's like my first pass and I might mess up sometimes. But come on, Skylar. You could have made that last pass perfectly and you could have stuck it. But anyway. My score was a 9.4. I know, pretty crazy that I got the same score for beam and floor. Listen, my favorite event is beam, but I think I've gotten a lot stronger on all four events. So on bars were next and I was like, I gotta focus and I gotta keep calm. So, on ball, at practice, for the past few weeks, I've been going high on, like, every single day. The past, like, summer, I've been working tuck fulls on ball, and they've been good. They've been decent. I'll just put a video in. Here's a video. You got it? Come on! Get it! Yes! Okay, so you saw that video, right? So, I had the ball. I had the ball, right? But then, we started changing it when it got to season to, like, a pike. And I have done pikes before that were good, but ever since I've been doing the tuck full, the pike has always been weird and I have not been doing it good. At the in-house a few days ago, like I was saying earlier, I did my pike, but they spotted me, so they were like, oh, we have to give you a zero, so please go again. And I went again and I literally face planted. I was like, okay, I want to do a tuck for the real meat that was on Friday, which is this one. So I just want to do a tuck because in like, the future meets that we're gonna be having, this is only our first meet, I'm going to be upgrading to a tuck full, or a pike, or a layout, but I don't know, but I really think twisting is better for me, so I wanna do the tuck full. So, we just went with a tuck. So, a tuck's like a lower start value, but I was like, it's fine, I'm gonna do this. So, in warm up, I did three timers because I kept messing up my steps and I kept stutter stepping like this, and it was so bad and I was so crooked. And I only flipped one ball in warm-up, and it was horrendous. And I was like, oh my god, like what am I going to do? Like what am I going to do? <laughs> and then I also had a sore ankle. It's still kind of swollen. I don't want to show you my dog, but like I still have like a swollen ankle right here. But um, I just need to pray right now. I just need to give it all to God. So I saluted. I was, I think I was like, even on floor, I was fourth on floor, and on ball I was third. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go. Like, I'm just gonna do it, and it's fine. Like, I have two balls, I have two chances. Do my first ball, I go into the table, but I over-rotate. I'm just gonna show you the one I made. Oh wait, I gave it away, whoops. So, the one that I made was my second one, of course. And I was like, I did it, and I'm so happy, and I'm just gonna show it to you. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, that was, that was like the only one that I like made that day. <laughs> like I swear, I was happy with that. And my score on vault was an 875. Not too bad with a low start value. So I was like, you know what? In order for me to get like a good all around score, I needed like over an eight on bars. And we're gonna watch my bars right now. And I was third on bars.
This is a lot. My bars have improved a lot since like the past couple years. <laughs> I always do a toe circle. I don't know why. I was gonna kick out, but I put my feet down. It's gotten way better though. And I'm going on fig now, which the bars are way closer. So I was like, I just have to make this dismount. And I was like, I did it. Like I literally made everything at the meet. And I was really proud of myself. I got an eight, seven, seven, five, because I touched my feet. But you know, this is only the first meet of the season. Um, I have still have a lot to improve on, but I'm really happy and I'm just really proud of myself. I got a 9-4 on beam, a 9-4 on floor, an 8-7-5 on ball, and an 8-7-7-5 on bars. What does that equal, everyone? Let me tell you. A 36.325 all around. And I was really excited that I got a 36. And now I'm going to tell you the places that I finished it. <laughs> so we were at awards, they called up vault first, and I didn't hear my name called, and I kind of knew that I wouldn't be on the vault because I did a lower start value. So I was like, okay, fine, like, whatever. So we go to bars next, and I didn't hear my name called, and I was like, hmm, like, maybe I didn't do as good as I thought. And I got fourth, and I was like, oh, okay, not bad, fourth place on bars. And then we go to Beam, and I didn't hear my name called again, and I was like, no, like, a 9-4 has to be on podium. Like, it has to be. And guess what, everybody? I got first place on Beam, and I was like, yes! Like, first place winner, that Beam routine was good. And the next event was Floor, and I was like, listen, this has to be on podium, too. And guess what? I got first on Floor, and I was like, with my friend Audrey and I was like, she was like, you're gonna get first, you're gonna get first. And she actually got first on bars. And she was like, you're gonna get first. I'm like, and no, I'm probably gonna get like third, you know, like, I don't know. And she got second and I was like, well, we'll see. And then they call my name for first all around. So I actually won first all around at the meet. And so did my other friend, Clementine. She got first all around. And I think she got first on a lot of the other stuff too. And she did so good, and so did my other friend, Kiki. She did amazing, and um, thank you so much to Carson, who came to support us. And another person that came to support us was Charlie and Camille, and you cannot forget Charlotte Yoon, because she did just floor, and she did so good, she made it. And um, yeah, and let me tell you the last amazing news. We got first place as a team and we were exhilarated and our coaches actually left because the meet ended at 10.30 at night. So of course, like everyone was exhausted. And I think our coaches found out the day after that we won and, or maybe the night of, I'm not sure. And our coaches said that we got a day off on Saturday because usually we have Saturday morning practice, but we got a day off because we ended our meet at 10.30. And I actually went to bed at like 2 a.m. So yeah, and I'm just so happy we had such a good first meet and we did so good. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, and comment down below. If you want a shout out in the next video, comment down below what your favorite TV show is. It could be a Disney show, Nickelodeon, Netflix. Just tell me what your favorite TV show is and I might pick you for the next shout out. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.